Welcome back to another exciting installment of League of Legends Go For LOL 40 tournament and uh, we're currently we following the track of Lowland Lines within this tournament they are up to round 6 they've just dispatched of Playgrounds if you missed that game feel free to go back and watch it in the video on demand There is, uh, we've tracked it from round 2, round 2, 3, 4 and now 5 and 6 so they are against ZNP, a Polish team. I can't pronounce their name, so I'm not even going to try to butcher it. So they are going to be the blue team, ZNP. It will be Gragas, Alistair. I'll get to see who that's going to be in a moment. Uh, Ergot and Trundle. And it is going to be Zillion. It's going to be the final person that loads up there. That will be Kikis1205, Libic, Angie, Nesik, and uh, Dedrain. Dedr the Drayen, I don't know, I'm butchering these names. They, you know, probably got some Polish twangs on them as well, I don't know. Full Lone Alliance, it is going to be Corky Nocturne, Vladimir Jarvan, and Sonna. That will be Sneaky Shock, Alibaba, Cow King, and Ashtai. Uh, Ashtai? Ishtai, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm, it's getting late at night. I've been recording these all day, and I'm getting a little bit tongue tied as we go. So, uh, obviously, going to be Trundle and. Uh, Nocturne will be the two junglers, clairvoyance on the two supports, which will be Zilli and, and Sonna. Down the bottom, I guess we're going to have Ergot and Zillion, possibly, as the bottom lane against uh, Sonna and uh, Corky. Jarvan almost certainly will be top lane. Who will he be against? That's the question. Will it be Alistair, possibly, uh, top lane, or Gragas? Maybe Gragas, probably mid, uh, against uh, Vladimir. Uh, so... As we see the uh, teams the set themselves up, clairvoyance has gone down on both. You can see pretty much standard items. Doran's blade on Corky, uh, Doran's shield on Vlad, uh, Doran's rings on Gragas and Zillion. Uh, Regrowth pendant building up towards Philosopher's Stone on Jarvan. Uh, boots and ward and health pot, pretty much standard for the supports. Clairvoyance going down. Uh, oh, as the enemy clairvoyance has gone down here. No sign of them at the moment. The there was, they did put the clairvoyance down. So Lone Alliance just need to be a little bit wary. That's a face check. Oh, they do face check indeed. Alistair comes straight out there. Alibaba's almost certainly going to go down there. He will be first blood. It was uh, Z uh, Zillion that got first blood there. He's the Vladimir was the man that went down. Trundle's certainly going to go down there, will he? Sneaky's also got the bomb on him. Actually, Sona picked up the kill. Just got one there. Kalkin gets Nessik down on uh, Ergot. Almost. Sonny Zillion will go down as well. Jarvan's going to come through. Nocturne on him as well. Nocturne is going to pick up that kill. Gragas may even also go down. I just get pulled away from the uh, the fight. And wow, 4-2 was the final kill score. And that was an epic face check from Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> Alibaba full face check in the bush. <laughs> That's nearly not what you wanted. I think they kind of caught them off, but obviously the difference is they have uh, the Corky with the Philosopher's Bomb, I think was almost instantly on there. Unfortunately, Corky and Nocta, neither of them got the kills. It was all Jarvan, so Jarvan has instantly teleported back, got himself a Philosopher's Stone and Boots, so he can be a lot of damage. I'll tell you what, Gragas really should have gone back to base. He's he's going to find himself much lower down. He's going to be struggling all the way. Kauking is just going to zone him out here, which is exactly what he's doing, and he's going to have a lot of damage to boot with it. As... Uh, He's still showing his level one, but I think he might be—he must be close to level two or, or maybe three already. Um, yeah, I was going to say he is two. Now it's updated. I was going to say he must be two. He's just got uh, three kills and one assist, so he must be up there. Meanwhile, in the mid, it is Ergot versus Vlad. So I got that one wrong. So Vla uh, Ergot starting with the mana crystal and uh, three health pots, as it didn't start with. Obviously, Nocton coming down the side there. Nocton didn't get any of the kills, but got three assists. Zillions is almost certainly going to be the target. Do go straight in for him. He's going to get the Q across. He's not going to be able to get the kill. Alistair does manage to get a nice punish on him. Alistair is going to go down. The fear triggering beautifully there from Nocturne. The bomb went on him, but uh, that was going to do nothing. So, as uh, Nocturne returns lag, says Gragas. I think that's the least of your fears at the moment. It is 5-2, and they are fed early on. As uh, Nocturne looks to pick himself up. Another kill as he works towards Ergot. This is just about the worst thing you could do with Nocturne. He's got those three assists and the one kill. He's going to come around the backside of Ergot right now. The pull goes on him. That's going to slow him down. The fear getting triggered as well. And unless he flashes away, he's not going to get away. And that's going to be Ergot down as well. Very nice. He could have done as a uh, team attack there. So 
and another kill goes down and another assist. That's four assists for Nocturne at level three. So uh, uh, Gragas has been away and come back. He gets a little poke in the face from a friendly Jarvan stick. Uh, so he's got himself a Doran's uh, ring to start with and uh, the ward placements as well. So Zillion has uh, pretty much just about had the worst position you can have as a uh, starting Zillion. It's interesting to see Zillion used properly as a support now, when, whereas sometimes he's used as uh, as the AP hero. It's, uh, I, I can think back straight away to uh, a, a game with... Um, uh, I can think back. <laughs> it really doesn't come straight to mind. Meanwhile, they are having a go, good go at Jarvan there. They've got good control of him. Manages to pop the slow. I think he popped Ghost as well. Actually, no, he doesn't have Ghost, so he can't have popped Ghost. There was definitely no uh, sound used. Health pot was used. Oh, it's because he's got boots early on, hasn't he? That's why, because he got that triple kill at the start. So, we uh, got... Uh, he's there. Uh, Glad to be in push. Remember, Alistair was coming back down river. Actually, he's not. He's still in that bush. I tell a lie. Alistair roaming around and uh, trying to give, well, I would say trying to give uh, Twisted Fate as much time as he can to farm, but, well, Sneaky's getting a lot of damage on this turret already. Sneaky's only got that Doran's uh, blade. Have a quick look at CC in a moment. It's 6-2 in kills, so that's the big difference. He's got four assists as well. So a lot of experience there. Oh, a lot of good poke onto him. He's going to die for him. He does Valkyrie through. The flash is away, though. He's got to be a little bit wary. That tower's going to get a single hit to name it. I think he's going to back away, though. Clairvoyance gets used, but I don't think Alistair's anywhere near. Oh, they are having a go at the top, though. It was Nocturne coming around. Gragas is going to use his dash to try and get away. Puts the barrel back at him. Alistair's going to come around try and CT them as much as possible. Meanwhile, Jarvan does go diving in, and Alistair needs to be careful. He's not very tanky at the moment, which is why he has to flash away. So some of the spells are used pretty much all around there. This is what I said, Nocturn has been fed early on. It's the worst thing that can happen as a jungler. He's one of those that can snowball very quickly and certainly when the team is around him, he's got himself that Madras Razor already, puts the wall down in River and gets the boots as well. Probably going to come across one of the queue across Gragas there, which is what he's uh, just hanging around for. There he goes straight across. Yeah, puts a Nice hit across him. Trundle, and meanwhile, has had to cover bottom. So Zillion's been back. Ishtai is uh, teleporting back, so we'll see what he's going to pick up at the moment. Got boots uh, already. Gets himself a uh, triple Visight Ward and one Vision Ward. So that Vision Ward's almost certainly going to go on Dragon. Uh, uh, he's not been back, as Zillion has. He's just got himself a second Doran's Ring with those boots. And uh, boots on... Uh, Urgot, in the meantime, Alibaba has not been back yet. Let's have a look at the CS while well, we've uh, got a little quick lull. 45 versus uh, 31 in mid. Obviously, he was killed twice. Uh, once in the opening battle and a second time during it. Meanwhile, they're having to go at Gragas at the top. They are going to surely take him down. I don't think they're going to have enough CC. Yes, they will. Well, the health was showing him at half health, but uh, what are we to know? I mean, you, can, you can tell when someone's being taken down pretty quickly. And that will be a fourth kill for Jarvan. This is going quite badly wrong. Alistair comes out nicely onto Corky there. Corky's going to have to Valkyrie away. I'm not sure if he's going to get away with it, though. Yes, he will. Didn't get a bomb on him. And that's sneaky, just about escaping by the skin of his teeth. And that uh, survives to fight another day. Nice gank though from Libec. Getting the uh, getting the headbutt into the wall and then getting the stun down. He couldn't do a fat lot more. As, uh, oh, he will try and get the rewind. Tries to get the second bomb. You just do not have the damage though. And I tell you what, that's actually taken Zillion down almost as much as it did. <laughs> Sneaky. Got, took two, uh, two bomb hits. Sonnet is going to come around the back side of him. Sneaky can't really afford to engage, and he's got a big stack on him. He could do with Sonic getting in there early, because it's only going to take one bomb. And meanwhile, he comes round, gets Twisted Face in the face. Uh, he's going to put that ward placement down. Nocturne's going to have a quick go at that. Remember, because there was a Vision Ward there, so that Vision Ward has actually paid its price already. Meanwhile, up the top, well, once your lane is against uh, a pretty fed champion, and, well, a 4 0 1. Uh, Jarvan is pretty much as fed as you can get, really. And uh, he's got the double heart of stone as uh, Libek returns. Libek trying to roam as much as he can with Alistair, but frankly, he's not having a fat lot of luck. Vladimir has got a good, got a good bit of poke on him there. As uh, 
Tear of the Goddess now being uh, completed on Urgot and uh, Hextech Revolver now on Alibaba as well as those boots. Alistair coming around the back side of him. Will he manage to get in there? Does manage to get the head, but does get the pull price down as well. He's going to surely manage to finish him off. Teleport coming in. That's going to be Jarvan coming down. Jarvan does. The ulti goes through. Don't think he's going to get away though. So teleport used though. Someone a spell wasted. Didn't get any kill. Oh, well, I don't know. Is he wasted when he's uh, come down to protect Alibaba? Alibaba survives. Gets himself some life steal back. Meanwhile, Zillion is being dived by uh, Nocturne and Cork. He's going to get the fear trigger off. No, he flashed just about the right time. Oh, the ulti just about flicking past his face, though. And that may put a lot of pressure on that tower. They need to be careful as well. Dragons are almost certainly getting viable as Vlad's just life stealing it all back. That gank. Trundle coming round. They've got good ward placement. Trundle with Oracle, though. It's going to clear that one out. As, uh, they do come around there. Corky getting taken out by the turret a little bit too aggressively. And uh, didn't luckily, uh, nobody got a hit on him. Which is uh, it's simply a turret death. Surprisingly, he didn't manage to get at least some sort of uh, damage on him. <coughs> so, meanwhile, Gragas has gone missing again. I guess he might be in the bush up here, or he's gone back to buy. Alistair comes back down bottom. Zillion ports away. He does actually get a port to wave. Fear gets triggered on to Libek. Libek, like I said, he needs to be careful. He's only got the fairy charm and boots. He's got nothing tanky other than the fact that he is a cow. And uh, the bovine has some hit points. <laughs> That's really all it is that's doing. I tell you what, and he might well die for him as well. Pops the uh, shield up, gets the fear triggered off him. We'll put the Q across and surely going to finish him off. We'll get headbutted away. Oh, Zillion's going to come in though. Will he manage to finish him off before he gets away? Very nicely juked. And that's going to be Nocturne going down. Will he get the heal? That's not going to be enough. He will get the kill, but to the detriment of his own health. And Shut taken down up. by Zillion. Corky returns the lane though. Corky got himself a Philosopher's Stone and a Sapphire Crystal. And uh, Jarvan has been back and bought. Quick clearance of the lane and pushing that pressure on towards that tower. 700 hit points now that tower. Already down to 600 as he continues as uh, Mana Crystal now been bought by uh, Zillion. Zillion not really been able to get too much farm. Vlad in the mid is uh, continuing his battle. Both full hit points now. Gragas has uh, been back and bought. Tried to get himself a catalyst. Hasn't quite completed it just yet. Jarvan going along top. Got himself a uh, Mercury Chest now complete. And Negatron Cloak. Lots of magic resist to uh, poke the fat boy with. Which is what they're going to hope to do. As uh, Sonic comes in. And uh, that's a little bit of farm. The only little bit of farm she's going to get. Not so picking up uh, that. He's got Riggles and uh, Berserker Greaves. Good pick, pick up Red. Vlad. Just been back on board, Vlad. What's he got? He's got some Ionian boots, so get that cooldown reduction going nicely. Urgot in the meantime, has he completed Manamu? No, he hasn't. He's got Mercury Treads instead early on. The Cookie's going to push it onto the Orsa Tower. That's going to be certainly a death, but Zillion's ulti will trigger it. Oh, that's going to kill down Sneaky, surely. The bomb will trigger. Very nicely done from Alistair there. Getting the head, but oh, but here comes Nocturne. Ulti in through. Oh, he's flashed through. He's just about got away with it. Clairvoyance goes down. <laughs> Trundle is running for his life. 50 hit points, and I think he may well get away. Way. Nocturne is going to continue to chase. May well get round the back side of him. Has he got a decent pair of boots? Clairvoyance does go down. He's got Riggles. He has got Berserker Greaves. He just needs to put a Q straight across. Pops the uh, shot. Oh, and misses. Misses the Q. Alistair puts the CC on him. Very nicely dodged there by, uh, by Trundle. And well worked from Alistair. So, Shock didn't quite get him down. He's going to return back to lane. And that tower down to 578 health. And uh, Urgot is under a bit of pressure here now because Vlad's been fed. He's uh, he's farmed pretty strongly. As we look at the CS, you can see 88 to 74. So fairly even, as to be said. Double tower hit. We could have done without there, probably. Uh, so the bomb on Shock. Shock's going to back away. And in comes Corky to uh, cover his escape. There, yeah, points down. Ulties from Urgot, uh, from <laughs> from Urgot, from the manatee that is sneaky on uh, Corky. Uh, so Mercury Treads only complete on uh, Corky there. They're surely going to be thinking of Dragon. Actually, have they taken it? I must. Did I miss it? I must have missed it. And I didn't see who took it either. I did not see Lion Lions take it. So possibly a Dragon. I I may be oblivious to it. I don't know. It's definitely not there, though. I, I, I must have completely missed that while the uh, following the ganking action. 
so uh, Trundle clearing out the wards. So that's got a lock on now, he needs to be a little bit wary, he uses the uh, pull to <laughs> back away, that lock on is still going to uh, hit him one last time. Your team has destroyed See, he takes that bottom turret down. It was down to five equipment, so it's almost inevitable when we got uh, Co are in the mid there. They're going to continue on. On there comes Zillion around the back side to uh, use that Valkyrie to get away and going towards the dragon area. Gragas coming down. Not sure what he was planning there. Sorcerer's boots now completed on Gragas. Can come around the back side of Vlad and that catalyst that he was building earlier. Meanwhile, they've left Jarvan free. Now, Jarvan has been pretty well fed, so he's uh, fairly healthy, level 10. Gragas is some way off getting back up there. And uh, they await the ward placement goes down in for the dragon there, just at the back, which they caught a glimpse of. Zillion still just going to come around the back side in mid. In fact, Vlad needs to be very little wary here. It's got uh, Zillion can get the slow down on him. I don't think he managed to get it down in time. So he just pulls up and uh, disappears. And there's a bit of laughing in the process. But Meanwhile, looks like they're all setting down towards mid. So we may get a uh, five-man down. Dragon is up. I missed the first one, but the uh, second one's certainly coming. Oh, teleport coming in. That's going to be Jarvan teleporting down. And they are going to surely go in for Zillion. No, they're not. They're going to ulti straight onto Urgot. Urgot oh, doesn't seem to have any escape as he does. He's got that flash up. And now uh, Zillion is also going to get poked. Oh, nice Q straight across there. He's going to have to possibly use the res effect. That's being hit pretty hard, though. In the meantime, this is going badly. Run for Lola Nice. This is nice perk from ZMP. Can they pull themselves out of it? Oh, no, they can't. Sneaky is going to go down. The bomb is planted, though. The bomb is planted. Going all counter strike on you. And uh, the bomb goes off in amongst the whole team. And that was, I think, that was, yeah, three for two for one. They've got went down eventually, but Corky and Vlad being picked off in the process. Meanwhile, they've stuck around. That's not good. Zillion's got the res. He's going to use that. Will he be able to res back up? Libic is going to get away. No, he won't. He's going to get taken down. And I think Zillion may well go down as well. Jarvan, the last man standing, is going to heal properly. And uh, Nocturne comes back in and takes him down. I think he's going to get away as they get pulled away from the action by Cookie respawning. Gragas is going to go down because he's going to get feared. And that will trigger and get the damage on him. Zillion remains, but on the skin of his teeth. And that will be Dragon now going to Lowland Lions. They're a very low health dragon attack mind you but a dragon attack nonetheless so well, ZMP actually came out well in the initial engagement and then uh, I think they got a little bit too greedy around the tower and then kind of got themselves caught in there so uh, put Lona Nines back in the driving seat which is why they got that dragon so 12-7 the score remember it was 4-2 from the very uh, second minute of the game lock on to Corky there I believe it was noticed him uh, Corky, meanwhile, build that sheen up. Gonna get the Mercury Treads next. Uh, oh, Spirit Visage on uh, Ali Barbar now on Vladimir. Nocturne has, uh, well, he's had that. Wiggles and Berserker Groups for a while. Force of Nature now completed. That's how much he'd been farming at the top there. Got himself the kills as well. 5 1 3 now is Jarvan. 4 1 7 is Nocturne. That's probably not what you want. Oh, he's, he's dull ulted onto Alistair. Alistair just. Head puts him out of it. Actually popping his ulti. Alistair, so double ulti is used there. And, uh, well, Corky was next by. I mean, Jarvan's ulti mixed with Corky. He's got a good range there. Good uh, access. The problem with Jarvan's ulti, while it's great that he can jump in and trap someone, a lot of heroes actually don't have the range to be able to do it. Uh, off the top of my head, I can remember Rise, because I used to have a partnership uh, myself and Rise, Jarvan and Rise. And... And when you're ulti in, Jarvan's uh, rise can be kind of like, I, I, I can't actually do anything. <laughs> Thanks. Especially, I mean, obviously, if, they have, obviously if you're next to it. But generally, the hero that you've trapped in there is generally not going to be a complete retard and will not do well uh, dodge around from anyone that's getting near it. Which is what I meant. Now, it looks like they're going to have a gank attempt on Jarvan down the bottom here. You saw them all disappear, but, well, if you want to tank your target, you've just... Uh, 
found it because double philosopher's stone and a force of nature not going to be able to do a fight like Vlad putting a bit of pressure on towards his turret meanwhile Corky and Sonnen had switched it up towards mid here mid down to 1300 hit points so uh, they could easily take it down if it gets left exposed a little bit too long Corky continues to farm very well here in mid getting all the CS in the world it's 142 for Vlad 130 13 for uh, oh that with the two mids there 98 for Corky compared to uh, Zillion 68, so that's the problem there. Trundle's actually got pretty good CS along with Nocturne, so uh, they've actually got more CS from jungle than uh, they, uh, Zillion has from lane, because Zillion has been pretty much taken out of the game by a lot of early ganks. Nocturne's got to be careful here, he catches himself in a, a precarious position, comes around the side there, does get ulted by Urgot as well, I think. Yes, he gets pulled around the side, he's going to get the fear trigger, but he will almost certainly go down to court in a really bad situation now. And again, Ali Barbar's in trouble now, he's going to have to get out of there. So, another nice engage there, Alistair causing the problems with them, they've got a lot of CC, they are going to manage to get ahead, but they will not, but Sneaky back in, Sneaky's going to go down here, I think the Ignite will go off, oh, Solid popping the ulti on the tower, but it's not going to be enough, and that will be another kill. So, ZMP forcing their way back into this, really nice team fight so far for ZMP. Lowland Lions have uh, had it all too easy of late. And uh, Jarvan missing a game from that fight. I'm not sure he's going to teleport away in time, you know. It's just about... Yes, because I guess they probably went towards the bush rather than uh, towards him. So he does get away. 12-9, ZMP pulling themselves back into it. Zillion got five kills now, which is helping tremendously with Zillion's... Uh, uh, AP. So we've got that Sorcerer's Boots and the Catalyst. They're probably going to go back and uh, buy something. Clairvoyance does go down on him, which is why he's uh, put a ward down, catches a glimpse of Ali Barbar coming in around, so he's going to probably back away. He doesn't want to give up that... Uh, doesn't want to give up a blue. Got to be honest, puts another ward in the bush there on blue, so he can catch Ali Barbar. And this Nersik does come around on Ergot. 20 minutes gone in this fight game. It's, uh, it's pretty even now, I have to be honest. There's uh, oh, Oracle on Jarvan. Jarvan's uh, been back on himself a heart of gold. Just just when you need more gold producing uh, items. He's been got another one. So, uh, Clairvoyance goes down. They've got a good glimpse in there. A uh, ward going down. That's, uh, that's almost a defensive ward for Baron there. I wonder if that's what they're thinking of setting up for. 21 on Drake, so Drake is about to spawn any second now. Which is where they are heading towards. They need to uh, really either set up and get a, uh, a possible kill before they do it, or will they uh, just go directly for it? It's kind of Captain Obvious if you just go straight down there. It's going to take that ward out. He said 21. Maybe it's 21-21. Who knows? But Dragon is not up yet, according to uh, the map that I am seeing on Sneaky Screen. They've got to be careful if they if they go for that Dragon too too much all in. They're going to lose his tower almost certainly because they have a good stack on it, and there is a five-man uh, presence. Corky has pushed that bottom lane. He's going to hope to draw someone away as that clairvoyance goes down. Zillion is. Uh, all too aware of what's happening. Got a blast in one now. Sorcerer's shoes, like I mentioned earlier. Twenty-two minutes. I think someone got their uh, someone got their timing wrong when he said twenty-one. Drake, <laughs> they're hanging around. Twenty-two minutes. It's still not up. Someone miscounted when it went down. Good to be honest, I wasn't counting. It's also. Uh, I can't blame them. Meanwhile, there's uh, a top stack on this uh, top tower. Nobody's gone towards it yet because they know that that dragon is not due. It's amazing how much 150 gold keeps teams just oh, completely away from farming. It's, it, you know, the 150 gold that you get from it in the experience. Someone probably could have got just going up the top there, but instead now the dragon has spawned. Nocturne probably could pick it up on his own, actually, if they can just keep them away. Riggles and... Uh, Zerka Greaves and Catholic, he could probably get it himself. Uh, so I'm not too sure if there's any wards in and around there. They're keeping them active. You can see they're just keeping them busy. And I guess that uh, whether they're aware that someone is there, Jarvan again will slide through, puts the slow down, does pick it up, and that's Dragon taken. Now they're going to go in for the attack. They will come around. Urgot managed to pop his ulti. Jarvan's got uh, 
Uh, Zillion trapped in, and Zillion's had to use his ulti on himself, which means everybody else is fair game, and that's going to be Urgot going down. Alistair almost certainly going to go down, popped his ulti far too late in that fight as Jarvan goes sliding through. Gragas is very low on health, following Zillion as well. Zillion pops his speed, and he's going to get away. But that may, 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 may just trigger. Certainly that mid tower will go. It may even be a Baron. The potential for a Baron on here from Lone Lions. Instead, they're going to push on and get the double uh, turrets. They may even go for this inner turret. I think they will. As uh, everybody else has to be very wary. Jarvan does go sliding through. Nocturne is hanging on. Has, has uh, used his ulti already, so he can't go diving in anywhere in trouble, putting that nice slowdown, which has kept them at bay. But it also means the inner turret now has gone. Will they now back away from Baron? Yes, they will. Uh, no, they won't because <laughs> they've split off every every which way angle. Looks like uh, the buffs are the uh, or were going to be taken as uh, Corky discovers the blue buff is down already. And uh, Baron going to go to uh, Nocturne or to Sona there? Nocturne. So uh, 29 on Drake. It's pretty sure on it this time. As uh, Clairvoyance does go down, Ward gets placed. Clairvoyance was on Baron, so they were kind of expecting it straight away, so they've gone straight for it. So Corky cleared out bottom, getting that uh, extra bit of farm. Phase uh, is uh, halfway from being completed now. No, Phase, sorry, 24 since so completed Phase, rather. As uh, Alistair places a warder, just got a glimpse of uh, Philosopher's Stone and Heart of Gold, as well as the Boots of Mobility on Alistair. And. Uh, Needlessly large rod on Vlad now. Got himself a couple of kills in there. Zillion, meanwhile, has got uh, actually not really bought anything since we last looked at him. Jarvan has just been back and got himself a brutalizer, so a bit of armor penetration in there. As uh, Sona comes through, got those Ionian boots. I'm not sure if she had them earlier or not. Catalyst, uh, heart, uh, for some, sorry. Oh, we're going to get Urgot, surely. There's no tower. He's got no escape whatsoever. He tries to use the ulti to try and jump his way around. And that's going to be a jump on from the Cow King. And Alibaba will pick up the kill. And that's just going to feed his gold purse. Meanwhile, they're going to push on towards this mid tower. They're not going to get it down, though, because there's a lot of hit points on it. They don't really have a lot of attack damage. They're going to have to back away. And uh, Shock does use his ulti there on Gragas. Didn't actually go for it. Barrel was uh, rolled out. Instead, they're going to go for the turret. Uh, turret defense, rather. They did manage to get a good 2,000 hit points nearly stripped off it. So that's not too bad. Then he's not going to catch Zillion as he does. Oh, maybe, maybe. Can he quite get the fear on him? No, he can't. And Zillion's going to use his speed boost to get away. So flash use there um, by Shock. Without anything coming off it, actually nobody, no kills at all there on anyone. Corky has completed the Trinity Force. I said he was getting close to it. Didn't expect it quite that quickly. As uh, Nocturne has got a Brutalizer and Banshee's Veil. Oh, Banshee's Veil with Nocturne. So he gives you that double shield. So since the Banshee's Veil goes down, you just pop your own shield as well and go, oh, thanks, I'll have attack, attack speed as well. Don't mind if I do. So Clairvoyance, uh, most certainly used. As the uh, defensive wards now in place for Baron. Will they begin on it? I don't think they will. There's ward at the back there, which is what they're going to take out. And ZNP are not being fooled. Oh, Jarvan's actually slid straight straight in there. He doesn't have his ult. He's trying to see if he can uh, bait anyone into using abilities. Not many of them did. Nocturne does come around the side. Gragas is the target, actually. He is big, pink, and fleshy. He's an AP machine. And does not have a lot of hit points instead. Lebec has popped his ulti. You think he's going to be able to just about survive this one? Ulti is going to trigger off from Vlad any second now. And that's going to do a lot of damage down. Sneaky actually stole the kill though. Nocturne does take down Urgot. And uh, Nocturne uses his ulti on towards Zillion there. Didn't quite manage to get the fear. Had to get straight out of there. I think it was the uh, blast from Gragas. His ulti actually knocked him away. They're going to go on board towards the tower. Zillion needs to be a little bit careful. He's popped. Going to use the ulti. He doesn't have the mana to use his own ulti. So he's got to just run the hell out of there. Gragas in the meantime is also going to go down. He's very low on health. They're going to take that turret down. So base turret does go down. Still no one from Lonard Lines dying in that exchange. And uh, two members. That's a, a ward randomly gets placed down on the, uh, the back side. So that's going to get a view of uh, whether they're going to go for Baron. I guess, no, they're going to go straight for the inner turret. There's absolutely no reason to go for Baron, I guess, at the moment, other than just the fact that they've got so many minions stacked already, they could probably take the next base turret, you know. Uh, obviously, you need to be very wary. wary. There is uh, all five ZMP are back up, and they are going to back off. 
Uh, I guess they're gonna box spend some of that much. Oh, Gragas! If he Gragas comes on there, he just he's trying to keep a view on them really to stop them uh, just going and picking up a free Baron. But now it's also forced Lowland Lions not to back away because they don't want to back away and leave a bad free Baron. So it's actually caused more problems than it's probably worth. Do they want to try and pick up a Baron? That's the question. Gragas does use his ulti. Not going to knock anyone away. And uh, didn't get any kills. They are going to go for Baron 2. They're trying to put as much poke in as possible. Can they trap it? That's the question. Lowland Lions are surely going to come around and regroup. Everyone wants to uh, be in the same place. Gragas is back to wait. The rest of Z and P are still here. So now can they catch anyone else? Vlad has been uh, caught heavily by damage there, but shot. Trundle is going to have to back away, and Zillion is going to go down. Pops his ulti, but I don't think he's going to be able to respawn and get out of that one. Yes, he will. He's actually allowed to back away. Sonna pops the ulti. Ja uh, Nocturne does go ulti straight on towards uh, Nocturne there. Vlad manages to get the ulti across everybody. Nocturne's almost certainly going to go down in the process. That uh, will be a kill, and they're going to have to back away. So many on low hit points here. Tr uh, Alistair is just about getting away. Gragas is still coming around the backside of them, so they've got to be a little bit wary of that. Gragas is going to go down. Uh, sorry, Alistair is going to go down. Gragas backs away. He's just uh, doing a little bit of poke, and that's going to draw their attention away. So, <coughs> that little bit of poke from ZMP has kind of backfired on there. Actually, I think that was a kill for a kill. Yes, it was. It was a kill for a kill, so it's not too bad. But that means the blue will be now stolen by uh, Sneaky. And they may now finally back away. <laughs> <laughs> so there's probably quite a lot of gold to be spent here. I think for Lowland Lions. 18-10 the kills. Still no one got a Baron. Five turrets, uh, six turrets, sorry, taken down by Lowland Lions, whereas uh, they've still got all of their turrets standing. And uh, frankly, there's, they're on 800 health, 200 health in mid, so mid's pretty very much low. Bottom is untouched, practically. 30 minutes gone in this game and uh, looking like Baron will be the uh, target. So, kill wise, CS wise, you can see Nocturne 5 3 10, 5 1 9, Java 2 1 11, Sonnet 4 2 6, Vlad and 2 4 8 for Cookie System. So not having. Uh, uh, he's there for him. You can see 8 assists, totally he's there for him in fight. So, Baron Lloyd, you can see he's being picked up here. And uh, ZMP are coming around, but <coughs> I think they're uh, a little too late for the party, I'm afraid. Baron already down. Oh, they need to be careful. They don't get caught by Java. Java manages to ulti through beautifully. Catch all four of them. Alistair went down very quickly. Someone else went down there. It was uh, Zillion getting taken straight out on oh, another slide through. That's going to catch Ergot down as he uh, uses his ulti randomly. Meanwhile, Nocturne is uh, having a go at uh, the big fat man that is Gragas. They're going to come around the side. He does manage to ulti through. Will he manage to catch his fear off him before he goes? On towards the tower, doesn't matter, Java's going to dive for the tower anyway, Cookie comes around the back, and that uh, is surrender, GG, Lowland Lions go through to the next round, this is D-Man with Quad V.